So look, y'all, we're seeing more and more of success right now, okay? Um, as we know, uh, when it comes to uh, Saitama, when it comes to the Saitama project, uh, also when it comes to uh, the catalysts that are within uh, Saitama, okay? Um, you know, the what the team is doing right now is doing everything they can possible to make sure that the project as a whole is secure and to make sure uh, that the catalyst within the project uh, is secure uh, also, okay? And uh, one of the things that that uh, that is involved with the catalyst that, that are within the project, all right, is um, <clears throat> is uh, multiple audits, okay, uh, CERTIC audits, okay? Now, if we look right here, uh, it says uh, audit completed for staking as well, okay? It says farming audit left and Apple certification uh, is left uh, for uh, the app, all right? So uh, th this is good right here, okay? This is really good because um, you know, we, we had uh, other staking audits also. Now, we know so to say the Pro had uh, a an audit. Uh, that, that audit uh, went good. And now we have the audit for uh, staking. Now, the audit for staking is good because it's going to show uh, the security. It's going to show that, uh, you know, uh, no flaws or anything like that. Uh, and that's good because uh, we want that um, because uh, we want to know that, you know, when we put our hard-earned money into uh, staking, all right, like that, that we're not going to lose uh, any kind of value or we're not going to have any kind of hats going on or any kind of uh, uh, will situation, anything going on negativity that can impact, okay, um, our uh, investment. We do not want that going on. Now, uh, that is an issue that a lot of other developers have with uh, the platforms they come out, okay? When they come out with their platforms, they get uh, certain artists done on, uh, the platform as a whole, but they get no kind of audits done on uh, the catalyst within, all right, the project, okay? And I believe that uh, that should become a trend. Like I said, say Tom is setting the trend for uh, how crypto is supposed to be done, okay? Uh, I know that it could be time consuming. It kind of, can kind of be uh, uh, tedious and all of that, and that's how some of the, uh, the developers look at that. They think that it's tedious. They think that it's not worth doing it, okay? But um, it, it's all fun and games and all of that and, and to something pop up, okay, or somebody gets their investment uh, jacked up and all that and your community is going to be jumping down your back anyway. So uh, why not take the time consuming approach, approach right here? Um, I think this is good. And um, like I said, it's showing a, a strong security. You're going to have layers of security on top of security. All right. And, and the good thing about that is that that is um, the uh, that right there is uh, say Thomas uh, strong point right now that is their strong point uh, one of their strong points is security and the reason why is because uh, we seen uh, the success that uh, you know say the mass had uh, towards the tail end all right when they were getting rid of the hackers when they were getting rid of the bots okay when they were getting rid of the uh, the, the, the whales or keeping the whales at bay and all of that stuff we seen the success remember what i said the first audit okay we had like the front running bots all right and then they had to shut it down which caused a delay okay uh, another delay all right and uh and we seen like that in the second launch the front running bots were gone now how they did that i don't know how they did it but they did it okay and then in the second launch i think we had some whale action and some hacking action so they had to shut it down again that was the second delay Okay, and then when we seen the third, uh, when we seen the third launch, all of that was gone. Okay, so as we can see, they used SATA um, mass as a stepping stone to build one of the perfect uh, defense systems out there. Okay, and it worked out in their favor. And that kind of worked out. Uh, it, it worked out 100% in their favor. So now they had already had a good defense system. Okay, that they can carry over to SATA Pro, and that was a good thing. Uh, they came over. To, they they bought. Uh, they built say the pro, and the thing is, they did not have to worry about, uh, you know, implementing or building a new defense system for say the pro. Or one of the most important things is they did not have to use say the pro, okay, uh, as a stepping stone, okay, to get the defense system figured out. They had already done that. Now individuals say, you know, some say that, you know, uh, say the mass was a fail. I do not believe it was a fail because without. Um, without say the match, we would not be getting through uh, Sardex, uh, uh certic audits like this uh, with ease. We're getting through these audits with ease like that. These are big time audits right here that take time. 
all right the the Seder pro audit uh, itself the the uh, the, the Saitama audit itself all right uh, those right there okay those audits uh, I, I could say went faster than I expected it went faster than expected I didn't expect it to I know that it was not going to take as long as it did for like the Seder uh, the Seder mass and the, and the Saitama uh, v1 uh, audits did I know that it wasn't going to take uh, as long as those because um, I knew that those were new projects and then I knew that uh, new projects are work in uh, progress but I knew it wasn't going to take as long because uh, the Saitama team had already figured out okay uh, uh, how to they've already figured out solutions to a lot of problems they had so that was something that they were going to be limited uh, in when it came to uh, Saitama v2 and when it came to uh, come when it came to say the pro okay and we are seeing that with the certic audits of course the smaller audits uh, that we had uh, before certic we passed those with flying colors all right uh, but now the certic odds are proven to be uh, easier passed uh, also all right and that is a uh, a very good thing all right so when you look at uh, the staking uh, they want everything to be secure they want them to be layers and layers and layers of security this is what's going to make this project Okay, when it all comes together, one of the best uh, projects out there. This right here is what's going to put uh, Seda Pro above uh, a Uniswap. It's going to put it above Pancake Swap and any other swaps uh, out there. Say, uh, say the Pro right now is going to set the bar for uh, say the say the Pro right now is going to set the bar for how uh, swaps are done. They're going to force a lot of these swaps. Okay, in the future. Uh, to either get with the program or lose audience or lose competition all right these pro these uh, other swaps out here are going to be forced uh to have to uh, rebuild their contract they're going to have to be forced uh to uh, get higher security to get rid of a lot of the front running bots front running bots um i believe uh in the future individuals uh you know have a lot of um they have a lot of success with that and a lot of individuals depend on that to make money that's their b b uh, bread and butter right there all right but i believe in the future uh, as technology advances, as you get projects like say Tommy to come along and change the game of, of how uh, crypto is done and how swaps and all of that stuff is done i believe that that's going to be a thing of a past now you're going to have individuals out there who are, going, who are going to continue to try to find loopholes and build their own bots and all of that stuff but i believe as technology advances, a lot of that stuff is going to become a thing of the past and individuals are going to have to find a different means of uh of, of revenue they're going to have to find a different means of uh of uh, you know how to maintain their lifestyle okay if uh, what they're depending on is going to phase out okay and that all starts with projects uh like say Tama. that all starts with uh you know projects this this doing this layered security right here all right so staking uh we also have farming uh audit that is left all right uh that should be good in the apple verification uh audit also uh that will uh, assist in like uh payment options and all of that stuff so uh a lot of this stuff is good i like how uh say Tom is doing the audits for uh the projects as a whole and they're doing audits for catalysts within uh the projects itself and with, like i said that is not a normal thing for uh cryptos to do this is something that say Tama wants to do uh because what a lot of the other uh, uh developers do of other cryptos all right what they do is uh they create uh they create a lot of these uh projects uh they'll do the audit as a whole on the project but then the, the catalyst they don't even think about that they'll throw the catalyst within the project as a whole and that's it no audits no nothing okay and that's how we come up with uh, a lot of uh, bad situations a lot of unfortunate hacking situations whale situations uh you know bot situations and all of that so uh, i think this is uh, an actual good thing right here all right we're going to keep an eye on it uh, i want to make this video to get individuals an eye opener idea of what's going on when it comes to these multiple audits so um uh remember y'all every now will be history tomorrow all right and you even have patience in this crypto investing space or lose in the end okay you don't want to be a loser this is my video and i will catch y'all on the other note Howdy.